Hokey dokey. In this problem, they ask which equation down here corresponds to the slope field given here. So basically, how this works is y prime, the equations given, represent the rate of change of y. In other words, they represent the slope of y at any given point. So what we do first is look at all these lines that are graphed here and try to identify you know what they have in common or some pattern we see or something like that so basically all these lines have the same slope and that slope in this case is zero because all these lines are flat and so really we're just looking for the one that tells us that y prime or the slope at any point is equal to zero so that would be option b let's break out the eraser to see that b is our answer so what i'll do for the rest of this is just go ahead and go through all the other answers you might see in this type of problem so looking at this slope field all of these little tick marks have the same slope no matter what the t and y value are and we can tell that that slope is positive because these little tick marks are increasing from left to right so if we eliminate zero we know the slope's not flat and we eliminate y and t because these tick marks aren't changing slope dependent like depending on what y and t are and instead they're all the same value and so that positive slope value for all these tick marks must be one so all these little dashed lines have a slope of one that's why a is our answer all right let's go through the last two in this case you can see the slopes on both of them are very different from one another so let's go through this one on the left first we want to ask ourselves what patterns do we see occurring here as we scan either from left to right or from up to down whatever it looks like say at y equals about one half that all of these little tick marks have the same slope same at y equals one y equals two etc so like all of these lines have the same slope these lines have the same slope these lines and so what does that mean it almost seems like as the y values increase the slope lines the dash lines have an increasing slope as well an even stronger argument is looking down to the negative value so at y equals negative one all these lines have a slope of possibly negative one and then at negative two it becomes an even steeper negative slope and so on and so forth and so what this is telling us is that the slope at any one point is solely dependent on the y value and not the t value because it's only when the y values change that the slope values are changing so in this case c is what you'd want to look for you want to say that the y values or sorry the slope values are dependent on the y value so that's why y prime is equal to y and at this point we've you know gone through all the other options and so that just leaves d let's see if we can go through an explanation of why it's y prime equal to t so kind of the same argument as this um, but in a way the opposite so as we scan from left to right so starting at t equals zero all these slope lines have a slope of zero they're all flat but then it's only as you increase to t equals one all of these have a slope of one all the way down even and then you know say you go to t equals four probably a slope of four they're all positive very steep lines and so basically as t increases the slope of all these lines increases so that's probably the best we can describe that there so these are all the cases you will see for this problem if you have any questions please let me know